Hey family, um, I just heard the Lord say zero it down. And this is what he was saying in that. Oftentimes we have plan A, B, C, D, E, F, G, okay? But where is God? Where is the plan that includes God, his, de his decisions, his choices? What are his thoughts on the matter, okay? And so when God says zero it down, he didn't say narrow it down. He said zero it down. So the focus should be on him. Now, when we are faced with choices and different decisions that are in front of us, and maybe that's you right now, maybe you have multiple things that stand before you and look at you and, and you have to decide. Remember this, trust God for the answer, okay? Don't lean on your own understanding. But in all of your ways, acknowledge God and he will direct your path. You have to trust the Lord. We know that it's hard, but you have to trust him. So when God says zero down, he should be the only focus. Now, decisions and choices that stand before you, they're going to be there. But you should always look to God because it's more about him than, you know, if you're making the right decision or the wrong decision or what will happen if I do this or don't do this. Don't even get caught up with all of that in your mind. Wisdom comes from the Lord, not your flesh, because the flesh will tell you one thing, but the spirit of God could be telling you something else. So true wisdom only comes from God. So when the Lord is saying zero and down today, he's telling you that he is the only option. Everything else will fall into place when your focus is on him. He will direct your path. All right. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.